Hello everyone, Dexmark5. I'm a Neve online. Well, duh. Anyway. What I'm going to be doing today is ice mining. And the thing that I am doing is ice mining with my ship. It has This is the fitting of my ship. It has two ice half doors. And then defensive, defensive, scanner. And that's... I still don't know how this information works and like what my defenses and offensive capabilities are. My ship prices, <laughs> that's expensive. 75.6 million isk money. So, I'm gonna undock to the ice section of this video. So, see you then. Hello everyone, and I am in a nice field today, I am re well, I did say I am going to be in a nice field, but mining my way, so this is like how I set up my view, UI elements of the view, I, I use, for my overview, I use Eve University or C1 that they have. It's um, quite a nice simple one. Still learning how to set it up, but yeah, nice one. And I always use D-Scan when I'm in a section like this. Because it tells me if there's anything that's dangerous, you'll run for your lives. Pretty much. And this is my cargo. I can hold up the 33,000 of ice, which is 1,000 per unit of ice, which in other words is quite a lot, but yeah, and now it's not. You're going to ask the question, why did that happen? That is because I'm in a fleet. There is these fleets that you can go out around and join up with if they let you. You can join in and they can, you know, give you a boost to what you're in. Like, for example, compression, speed modules, defensive capabilities, ship mining boosts, shield boosts, that type of stuff. And compression gets you more items, more value. More money. Oh, the market today is not so good. But yeah. Gives you more money anyway. This is what I'm doing all the time. This is my drone setup. I brought the wrong drones again, damn it. Anyway, I can only bring one mine, one ice drone compared to all these drones. I use the three normal ones for just mining normal. That one's always handy to bring with me in case I get into fights to clean up the mess. And these two are very handy at, well, killing things. PvP mostly. Well, I'm on the other hand. I don't really, I haven't got near any PvP yet because I'm only starting to get my roots down. I've got some of my roots down in different parts of this game. But yeah, it's quite hard. Now, let's see. Project Discovery. Might as well show you a bit of this. I am level 19. Yeah, 19. I'm just still in Project Discovery because it's boring as hell mining. Sometimes I just watch YouTube videos, listen to music, that type of stuff. But yeah, project discovery really helps you in this type of parts. Because at the end of like project discovery, you get a nice little bl blueprint. God, I'm getting tongue twisters. But yeah, that's what happens. I don't care for feldies. 
I just want to get uh, and then this happens if you go way too fast you just continue doesn't really matter they give you money as well which is handy so this is what I do my life as a miner if anyone wants me to do mining for them like send me contracts and we can work out a payment because that's how I do this in this game make money <laughs> let's see the calendar today is July 26th interesting yeah I'm still learning the buttons <laughs> the buttons anyway my skill listings I've got crappy skill but yeah this is my skill 534 days dear god that is a lot that's pretty much one and a half year no sorry 12 months probably a year on something oh something just popped up who the hell is scanning me who was scanning me okay oh by the way I use the agency to find ice belts that is what I'm doing and this is I'm pretty much working towards an end goal I have in mind at the moment which is getting loads of resources to make about 20 million and I can do that with ice within two weeks if I remember correctly if the market is good and I'm gonna be reprocessing ice getting the resources from that to make blueprints but that's about it I'm an industry mining an industry and that's what I do at the moment so this is me bye I'll see ya when I see yous bye bye